First things first, what does the team behind the team mean to you? They're, they're probably the unsung heroes, really. I mean, it's the players and the coaches who's kind of in the, the limelight in the, in the front of that, but it's those people that are working behind the scenes that you don't see that are, you know, putting up the boards around the ground and, you know, getting the gear there. It's the bag man. It's the logistics people moving things. I mean, they, they, they make it. They, they make, make yeah, it. Yeah, they just make our job so much. You turn up at training, you're prepared for training, you turn up and everything's laid out and everything's there and... You know, even though they don't get a lot of credit, they're just as important as as, as we are because it it's the you know they're part of that cog. You know, and if the if the whole cog's working properly, then the wheel can turn and maybe you get a little bit of success. In terms of your preparations for the tour, do you double your workload now? I mean, you're a notoriously a student of the game. Oh, I, I think I think that clear. We've all got jobs to do during the Six Nations with our, with our teams, but there's always going to be this ongoing what, what, what we're thinking about that's ahead and there'll be the study and everything to make sure we're, we're fully up to speed with everything we need to be um, when the time's right. You want to have a little lion's notebook in the, uh, in the satchel <laughs> just to cool. get, get, jot, jot the old thing down? <laughs> Would you need to take risks to be successful? Yeah, of course you do. Um, there's no doubt about that. You've got to understand what the risk is and what it's all about and, and, and whether uh, the risk is... Uh, is way out there or not you know but yeah there's always a, always risk to protect you know the the split moment decisions aren't they you've got to be quick to uh to be accurate with it but uh risk is always um risk and reward we, we exactly. use that we, we use that word before you know sometimes risk you know it's about being brave as well isn't it yeah, yeah. brave and be bold you know yeah, take yeah. risks you know risk and reward brave and be bold i think against side like new zealand uh expect the unexpected and i think that uh, you know the way we coach and deliver that message to the players. It's their ability to go out and believe that message and act on the day to make those decisions. Who are the guys outside of rugby who you've bounced ideas off, who you've learned things from? I mean, I enjoy watching other sports and listening to people and, and what they've got to, to offer and give to you know, the team or to, to any sports, you know, and they'll find that interesting. You've done the league, bit of union as well. I just, just ideas open off. the laptop and have an open mind and watch a game and things spring to mind. Yeah. What to do and what not to do. Oh, I like to read. Um, I must say during the, during the autumn series, there hasn't been too many books read. It's <laughs> been a bit busy, but uh, I'll certainly do my best to learn from uh, learn from different coaches, as, as Warren spoke about. Make sure chat, make sure continue to learn. Yeah, gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Great stuff.